guys. Just up at my network media panel here and doing a little installation work because if you saw my previous video dealing with the uh, unified augmented reality, you probably saw this thing used to be a real big mess. It's at least a little cleaned up now, but still pretty limiting. As you can see, I've got a couple pieces of rack mount networking gear. They don't really fit in here. If I tried to cram them in there sideways, you'd never be able to fit the patch panels or the power cords. And things are expanding. I've got a UPS that sits on the floor. The cable modem's kind of buried back there and accessible. And I'd like to get some additional equipment in here. But these little uh, structured media panels, they just don't have the depth or the size to fit much. These are only about 14 inches wide, so they can fit between some standard uh, stud bays. And I think I'm going to take a look at trying to solve this through using a rack. But not the type of rack you would typically think of because this thing lives in my uh, master bedroom closet and as you can see it's not real big so if i have something that sticks way off the wall i just won't be able to use this closet as a closet so instead what we're going to do is continue mounting things vertically like this but in a proper rack so recently i've discovered trip light sells this vertical rack unit. Pretty nice little piece of kit. And if we take a look, it allows us to store two sets of switch depth equipment for a total of 6U. They also have a 10U, it's a little bit deeper. And I've got a couple bays we can remove these, um, but uh, they allow you to put kind of oddball size stuff with some little uh, mounting brackets on here, but you can also utilize the full depth of this and fit full length server length stuff just by using up to you. So this provides some expandability and uh, might let me put some future equipment in here that's a little bigger than what I'm currently using and figure out a way to keep it in there without having a giant thing sticking off the wall and making this unusable space. So, we're going to try converting it over and see how it turns out. Okay, so the first step is going to be unplug everything here, shut it all down, just in case anybody's interested. Currently running an uptime of 74 and a half, almost 75 days on the UDM Pro. Uh, so, I know some people have had some issues with various firmwares, but uh, this thing has been rock solid for me. Uh, I don't think I've ever had to reboot it since when I initially set it up. At any rate, we'll get all this powered down, shut down properly, and we'll start the conversion. Okay, quick update on this rack. At the top, there's very little clearance to get to these rack screws. It's only about three inches between the top and the, uh, the rail there. Now, not the biggest deal because Mostly the weight of anything you put up here is just going to hang by the ears. The, the rack screws are really just going to kind of hold it in position. They don't have to do a whole lot to keep it secure. But when they shipped with this mounting plate, uh, they really torqued these screws in. Uh, probably using some sort of uh, impact gun at the factory so it wouldn't fall out during shipping. But that means you got to somehow get in there and really squeeze in a ton of torque in a small space. Uh, and it's tough to do. You're certainly not going to fit a screwdriver in there to get it. And because of that, I have managed to strip out one of these screws. So I had to uh, break out the trusty Dremel, cut things down. Um, but what has generally worked is using a little uh, right angle adapter on impact. Um, Try to get it in here. Well, yeah, yeah. Doing this one-handed. But pulls it out. Anyway, once you get it busted loose, then you can turn this. But uh, this is one of those cases where trip light. If you see this, this should have been like a, a socket head uh, bolt to put on these because you can fit the Allen screws in here no problem. Uh, since you normally have a little hooked piece that would fit in there, your, your tool is short enough, 
Uh, so yeah, just something to be aware of when you get this. These uh, factory screws are really in there tight. Got the network panel all stripped down. Everything's off of it. Wires are all labeled. Got my power here, so I'll be able to plug everything in. Cleaned out all of the uh, years of dust and debris that are built up in there, spider webs and things. So let's get that rack on here and get everything assembled. Okay, here's where we're at so far. We've just got it temporarily propped up on a stool just to get it into position. And you can see there's the media panel inside and this pretty much covers the whole thing so it'll all be accessible on the inside of it. But, take a look. Okay, get that on there. It really comes off the wall about seven inches. So, if we take a look at the closet here, that should be plenty usable. And here we are, all populated. We've got an APC lithium ion UPS up in the top, nice short length. Of course, all of the Unify network gear. What's nice on this is it has these 1U trays, so you can do things like mount into the rack things like odd sizes, like a cable modem or power supplies, uh, any little odds and ends that you have that uh, won't fit. They supply these little metal brackets that you can snap things into along this grid and put anything you want in there. And here is the finished product. Got it mounted up. Of course, you know, had to add a little bit of a bling to it, some lighting inside. Uh, not too much to it, just some bright LEDs. I'm um, going to have these run off of a little Arduino down here on a motion sensor. And that Arduino also runs a little 120 millimeter fan on the side just to provide a little extra cooling. Turns out the spacing of the holes that they've drilled is perfect for mounting that fan. And it just squeezes in, in between. You can see it wedged in there, fits on the side between the, the units and the edge of the case. Keeps things nice and cool. Currently running 36 degrees, which is perfect for this. And on top of it, closed it all up. Looks pretty good. I think this is actually going to get the wife approval factor since now she's not staring at a box full of tangled up wires. So I would call this job a success. If you've got a structured media panel in your home and you're trying to figure out how to integrate rack mount equipment with your home network, the Triplite Smart Rack Enclosures are a good way to go. I'll leave links in the description for all the equipment that I've used here. And if you've got any questions, leave them in the comments. I'm Chris. I'll see you on the next project.